Uh, well, welcome. My, my name is uh, John Hanger, and I'm a Democratic candidate uh, for governor, uh, running in the uh, on May 20th uh, primary. And I'm here with uh, Max Chilson. Uh, this is Max's home uh, here in White Sox, uh, Bradford County. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to be here with you, Max, Thank and you. I pr appreciate you making some time uh, and uh, telling me about, telling me uh, about your story and your, your situation. And uh, I'm here today to see if I can help you get uh, good drinking water uh, at your property. Uh, you were telling me, Max, that you've been uh, at this uh, property your entire life. Yes. You, you, were, you were born here. Right. Uh, and uh, I'm going to fast forward uh, from your birth to 2004 when you drilled a, a water well right. R right on this property and uh, had a very good water supply very in two good. Very 2004. Good. Uh, and you actually showed me some tests that you had uh, paid for and done at the time of the uh, water well being first drilled in 2004. Yes. Uh, and I was very impressed to see that. Uh, and then you told me that you, your water went bad on September 25th, 2011. Yes. And uh, you also said that uh, a number of other families in the immediate area who have uh, their water supply from water wells also had the same same problem. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, that happened uh, right around the same time that uh, we had two uh, gas wells uh, drilled nearby. Yes. One, one about 1,200 feet away and another about 1,800, 1800 feet away from the property. Uh, and uh, the, uh, you have not drank your, your water well water uh, since that time. No, uh, I haven't. You, you've been, uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, using the water f uh, for bathing, but not, not, not for drinking. Right. right. Uh, and I, I've, I've looked at some of the uh, water test results, and I understand why, uh, that right. over a period of time uh, that you were, were not uh, uh, drinking that, that water. Uh, and I understand that uh, one of the companies in the, re in the area, Chief, uh, has actually worked on uh, uh, restoring or protecting or improving the water of some of your neighbors. Yes, yeah, yeah. They've dr they've uh, drilled some wells. Yes. And um, have otherwise uh, taken steps uh, to try to uh, make uh, the water supply better uh, for 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 those for your neighbors. And I, I want I want to emphasize that today you you do not have a lawsuit. No, uh, I don't. You uh, you don't have legal representation. No, I don't. Uh, you you are. Uh, a person uh, living here, uh, 80 years old now, Max. Uh, 81. 81, excuse me. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, you're a proud Pennsylvanian. And, and here we are, however, at a home where you don't have uh, drinking water that you can rely on. Right. And I, I, I will tell you that's unacceptable to me, Max. Me too. I'm sure. <laughs> um, and I would hope it would be unacceptable to all Pennsylvanians. Uh, your neighbors, uh, you know, unacceptable to uh, Governor Corbett, uh, unacceptable to uh, Chief uh, 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 Oil and Gas, uh, who uh, I think uh, has worked on some other homes nearby to improve the water, and, and I would urge them to work with you yeah. again again you don't have a lawsuit uh, you, you, there's no attorneys running around here uh, getting in the way of, of doing what's right, right. Uh, now I view this issue f right now first and foremost an issue of doing what's right, right. And, and 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 really treating this uh, as a as a humanitarian issue every Pennsylvanian must have potable drinking water got to have right. <laughs> right and and you don't so I, I want I want to I just want to get that fixed at this point. So I, I'm calling on, on Chief today to uh, come back and talk with you. Uh, if I can be helpful in those conversations, I'd be glad to to, to be helpful. Uh, I'm calling on them to do for you what they have done for others. Uh, and uh, I think you you're interested in a new water well. Yes. Just so I have good water. Right, new water well, and you even had talked about potentially a water buffalo right. with deliveries. But your, your, what you want is it, is a, is drinking water, and right. that's what I want to fight for you to, to get. I, I also understand that uh, you you your last time the Department of Environmental Protection tested your water was now basically a year ago. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was. Uh, I think I looked at the test results in your yes. in your kitchen, and it, it looked like it was 
uh, on January 29th, uh, 2013. Uh, and I, I know that you've had, uh, you know, your water kind of changes, the quality of the water changes over time. Uh, and um, in, in November, you were telling me that it turned black for a period of time. Right. And then, you know, it, the black stuff came and went away, but, uh, and there was a horrible smell you were telling me about at that point. I, I find it uh, absolutely incredible that that DEP would not come out and test when you called them and said I that. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, they, when a Pennsylvanian who is in this circumstance reports to the Department of Environmental Protection that he, he or she has experienced a problem with the water well right. uh, and is reporting uh, very specific uh, characteristics of the water, in your case it had turned black and there was a horrible smell, seems to me that a government that cares would come right out and test. Uh, and that's not what happened here. Uh, so uh, I, I, I'm, I, I regret that very much. I obviously don't run DEP. Once upon a time I did, but I don't now. Uh, and I'm calling on the Department of Environmental Protection to come out and test your water. Uh, I wish they came out when you, when they, you, know, you had that, uh, that experience with Me the black. Too, but she said it cost too much. Well, you see, that's an outrageous statement. Uh, it, it, the, the, the state government and this industry is, is getting a lot of money, a lot of money uh, uh, from uh, this gas. And we need to have the water tested when people experience problems promptly promptly because we we all know that water quality actually does change over a period of time uh, for a whole set of reasons so we've missed that opportunity to test the water then uh, but I would like them to come out I know you would too yeah. uh, like them to come out even now and test and, and and I do think it's important to show people that you know this is a filter in your water right and, you, and right. You know, it's not the only one i've seen no, uh, no. Yeah, now there's there's something not right there's with hundreds, your, your hundreds of them just like that dep right. took them chief it took them they've all had a chance they took gallons and gallons of black water back with them right so uh, you know I, again i want to i really want to emphasize because this is what you were telling me you just want your water you, right. you don't have a lawsuit nope. you're not you're tr not trying to grab money um, you just want your water, uh, right. and I, I think just about every Pennsylvania wants you to have your water, Max. Right. And I'm hoping that uh, Chief Oil and Gas will come out here and sit down, man to man, and 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 uh, do the right thing. Uh, no, not lawyer up, <laughs> just do the right thing. And the right thing, Max, is a new water well or that water buffalo. I think a new water well. I'd like to see that happen here for you. Yep. Yeah, I think that's what you prefer. Yep. And I want to give Chief some credit. They've already done that. Some of your neighbors yes, real by, nearby. So, you know, we can all go back and look over the last three years and start fighting again. But I, I don't think that's what you want to do, right? I mean, you want, oh, the, you want the water well. Right. <laughs> and you would like your water tested. Yep. Uh, so DEP should come out and test. Uh, and uh, Chief, I hope, uh, will come out and uh, sit down with you and do the right thing, put the lawyers aside. Again, to the extent that I can help be part of that conversation, I'd be glad to be part of that conversation in a constructive way uh, to, to get you the water. All Thank right? You. Yeah. So I also wanted to, and you, you and I talked about this, uh, I also wanted to talk about some changes that I think uh, your experience shows needs to happen in this state. Uh, look, uh, you've gone through a lot, and and uh, you told me at this point you don't trust the Department of Environmental Protection. No way. <laughs> right. And and uh, you know I I understand that, and uh, you know I frankly don't trust it either at this point. Uh, so I'm with you on that. So one of the things that I would like to do as governor is actually create a new office that would professionally and independently investigate citizen complaints about gas drilling. Very you know, good. Very good. Right. That that office would then allow you uh, and other citizens who have complaints to get a real answer. You wouldn't necessarily have to have an attorney. You could have one, but you could actually have your state government look into these issues in a, in a fully professional and independent right. way right. and get, get, get to the bottom of them and try to figure out ways of resolving situations, getting good water to you and other families. Right. 
And and you told yeah, and and I thought as you just said you you like that idea. I, I hope we can get that done, Max. I hope I can uh, win the race and, and get that done. And even if I don't, I hope some others will do that. You know, I think it's a darn good idea. Uh, I I wish Governor Corbett would do it right now. Uh, and and uh, I'm not counting on that, by the way. But <laughs> I would, uh, I wish he, I wish he That's would. That's why I was smiling. Yeah, I understand. Um, so, Max, would you like to say a few things any further? You've been sort of chipping in as we've gone along here. I think you've you covered all. Okay. Uh, I don't have too much to say. Only uh, I, I can't believe that DEP would uh, not come out and test my water because of money. They got plenty of money. No, I, I, I agree 100 percent with I that. I told Becky Rina right over the phone. She just she's the one that works with DEP that you're putting money before health, a rotten thing to do to people. You know, it, it absolutely is, so. and and uh, it frankly gets me really upset. And and it's just I don't think uh, any Pennsylvania really wants wants that. Uh, it's terrible leadership. Uh, it's a terrible, uh, it, it, but I'm afraid we've seen that time and time again uh, over the last three years that this administration just won't respond to real human issues in the gas fields. And that's going to change with me. So, I, again, I appreciate you uh, inviting us here. Anything else you'd like to say? Well, not really. <laughs> okay. You're great. I just want to say that. You're great. And I, uh, I'm not going away on this one. Uh, I'm, I'm, we're, we're making a request. And we hope uh, that the, the chief and DEP will do the right things. That's We've right. got a different request to each one. Come and test the water. We've got a request to chief to sit down with you man to man and uh, do what they've already done for others nearby. And that's right. to drill a new water well. That's what I asked. Okay. You know. All right. Uh, any questions from any of the folks here? We've got members of the press here. Any? You just recently gave um, comments to the DEP on the new uh, uh, regulations. Uh, could you summarize your comments? Please? Sure. Uh, look, uh, I, I reviewed uh, the, the proposed regulations uh, that are sort of presented as a tightening of the rules and the further protections. And they, it was focusing on uh, protecting quote unquote public resources. And the first thing I noticed about those regulations is that it didn't address any air issues. Uh, I consider land to be a public resource, water to be a public resource, of course, but air is too. And uh, so the first thing I said is these rules don't even address uh, air issues. So as we know, in some places, uh, it, air issues are the, the single biggest problem. Uh, it may be emissions from a, a drilling wastewater pit. It may be emissions from truck traffic or emissions from a compressor station. Uh, so uh, the first thing I said is you got to go back and, and include uh, uh, new rules uh, to, for air. There are uh, technologies, there are practices uh, that are available that are not always used that could cut air emissions by 90%. You can do green completions at a gas well, for example, and cut methane emissions by 90%. You can install various kinds of pollution controls on compressor stations and, and reduce emissions very significantly. There's things that are available today that are, are used sometimes, but not all the time. And I, I said the rule should require that they be used all the time. The, the next thing that I said is that uh, some of the uh, provisions dealing with uh, notices to protect state parks, for, for example, were, were ludicrously weak. Uh, uh, the, the, the rule, uh, as proposed, would have required a drilling company to notify the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources or the Game Commission if they were going to drill within uh, 200 feet of a state park or game lands. Well, you know, if you put a major pad with all that kind of track traffic within 200 feet of a state park, you're certainly going to impact the state park and the visitors. And, and I made the, the simple point that that's way too, too small. We also know that gas, when there's a mistake in gas drilling, can migrate through the ground by at least a distance of 2,500 feet, at least. So I suggested that the notice to the, to the agencies of a possible uh, gas well being drilled near a park should be no less than 2,500 feet. Uh, and uh, I also said that the rule that would allow the use of pits to store drilling wastewater uh, was way too weak. Uh, we, we, we no longer 
should allow drilling wastewater to be stored in pits. It's, some companies, by the way, don't do that anymore. They, some companies voluntarily no longer use pits to store drilling wastewater. But the rules, our regulations, should uh, ma match that best practice, and we should ban the use of drilling pits to store uh, drilling wastewater. Uh, and there were a number of other uh, uh, parts of my comments like that, and, and they're actually available at our uh, website, hangerforgovernor.com. Other questions, comments? Uh, okay. Question for Max. Sure. If you can step up to the mic, Max. Sure. Um, when this happened originally, you, you asked for help. Can you tell me who you asked for help and, and the results that you got? Yeah, I asked uh, DEP for help and, and Chief. They both responded good, and they had well intentions at first. Uh, I was promised uh, water buffalo at first. Next trip, they promised to drill me a new well. Next trip, they promised to pull the well, put all new stuff in. It was one promise on top of the other. And uh, as far as I knew, DEP uh, uh, said that they were to blame for my water going bad. And Chief did take the blame for my water going bad because they stepped up to the plate and they hauled me water. And, uh, uh, like, and they would going through the stages of uh, putting together a, a program for me to sign. that They would put a UV system in and a filter system and uh, pay me $300 for filters, which is gone before you know it. <laughs> it was a joke, you know. Well, the, I, I never did sign for the for the for them to do that because I wasn't I wasn't sure what that covered at that time. I didn't know if I could, if anything else would have happened to my well that I'd be out, you know. So that was the story on that. But as far as them keeping their word, they none of them kept the word. DEP just as what bad the chief is. What about the local representatives? Did you talk to any of them? Yes, I did. I I I contacted the county commissioners, uh, Tina Pickett. Yaw's office. Yaw, he didn't want nothing to do with it. He was scared to death to even look at my papers. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, yeah, I contacted a few of them to get help, but uh, it, didn't, it didn't do me no good because uh, I don't think they wanted to muck it with a, just one well like that, you know. I, you know, I think uh, what, what you're t telling us uh, is, uh, is, a, is a bad story. Uh, and what I what I'm hoping now is that we can actually write the last chapter in a good way for you. You know, you're 81, and I kind of want to focus on what happens from here on. I know that's what your, where your head is right now because I've sat down and talked with you. Um, and and I, again, I want to emphasize: you, you you've told me you don't have an attorney. You're not suing people no, over what may have happened to you. A lot of people would have, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I want that understood by people. At, at this point, that what you're asking for is something that human decency, I believe, demands. Just I, good water. <laughs> right. I don't want any Pennsylvanian living without potable water, and I will go to bat for you, Max, as I'm trying to do here today on your behalf, as well as anybody else in this circumstance. Yeah, yeah. Any other questions? John, just to follow up sure. to the last one. Um, so. Actually, let me, let me follow up to what you just said for a second. There are still uh, quite a few families in the Dimmick area that have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. And I was there at the church that, on that rainy, mm -hmm. cold day in Dimmick when you announced the pipeline. Mm -hmm. And as you know, the pipeline never was built. Mm -hmm. You announced that there should be a permanent mm -hmm. solution. Yep. And I believe that is required by law. And I believe it's by, required by uh, the contract with the drilling companies that they provide a permanent solution. There is no permanent solution to the families in Dimmick. And I know of one family in particular that um, um, still has problems and uh, they're not getting the help they need. So yep. my question for you is, um, you know, and I really, I personally, I've been following you and your record, and, you know, on the good side, you know, the enforcement action against Cabot, the uh, consent agreements, 
The, uh, I, you showed a lot of attention to Dimmick, which is all outstanding. I think the intervention that you did for the families in Franklin Forks, absolutely outstanding. What you're doing for Max, outstanding. Um, so let me talk about the pipeline and, and permit solutions. Look, uh, I, I, uh, and I've written about this and people can go read. I, I came up with the idea of a pipeline uh, to deal with the issues in Dimmock. I came up with that idea in, uh, in January, excuse me, June of 2010. I did so because pipelines have been built in other situations, not gastrolink cases, but other situations where people's water have been contaminated typically by industrial chemicals. Uh, it wasn't a first in the, in the state, though the precedent has always been there. Uh, and I, in fact, uh, asked uh, the Capital Oil and Gas to, to voluntarily build the pipeline, and then in, in uh, not so uh, legal terms, uh, they basically said, go pound sand. No, <laughs> they weren't going to do it. Uh, at, at which point, uh, I, we went to, uh, at the time, Governor Rendell and said, could we move forward? And, and we, tr and this was September, and we went, uh, we understood at that point uh, that we were going to have to try to have PENVEST, a state agency, initially pay for the water line and then sue Cabinet Oil and Gas in order to try to recover the, 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 uh, the money. Uh, you might have remembered something happened in November of 2010. Tom Corbett uh, won the election. Uh, and uh, I wasn't going to work for Tom Corbett for two reasons. First, I, was, I would never have worked for him had he asked me, and there was no chance in hell that he was ever going to ask me. So I was going to be out the door by January of, of 2011. And it was very clear given that the, the Republican leadership on PennVest and in and, and the state legislature had come out against the waterline, had said it was a, a waste of taxpayer money, that under the Republican governorship and the Republican control of the legislature, uh, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, so uh, that's the history. Now let's talk about the future. Uh, the, 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 f the future uh, has to be one where the governor and the government and the DEP is on the side of ordinary Pennsylvania Pennsylvanians when it comes to these kinds of humanitarian issues. Uh, and people should not have to be lawyering up to get answers to why their water went bad. That's why I want this independent office. Uh, I have a record that shows that I will go into people's homes. I, you know, I walked in, into uh, a number of people's homes in, in uh, Dimmock, uh, sometimes through uh, protesters stirred up by Capital Oil and Gas who were angry at me for being too tough on the, on the gastroline company. Uh, so I, I will be there fighting for people when, they're, when they need a, a governor on their side. Max needs somebody on their side. I'm here today. I'm trying to lower the temperature a little bit here today. I'm, I'm asking this that, because this is about Max. This, isn't, uh, this is uh, first and foremost about Max and getting him water. I, I wish I didn't have to be here today because Max would then have had his water. Uh, but he, he doesn't have his water. And I, I want that to stay focused there. In terms of the future, we need that independent office. Uh, I do believe in permanent solutions. Uh, and I will work with PennVest uh, to bring uh, public water to places where it's uh, humanly possible uh, to make that happen in, 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 if we have other situations like Dimmock. I'm, I'm even told in, in the Dimmock area that because of some other developments in, uh, that the, line, the, the water line has been partially extended or could be partially extended. So maybe, maybe even there down the road that we can uh, have, a, uh, have a, a good permanent solution. Uh, but I'll be working with families uh, who need, their, who need ha the help of a governor. And I, I got a lot done as DB secretary in two years and four months. I walked into this whole issue when the train was barreling down the road. Uh, and very frankly, I've been uh, praised by some and attacked by some. And some of the attacks, they don't know what they're talking about, very frankly, uh, to be direct with you. <laughs> um, uh, and, and, but as governor, I'll get a whole lot more done. I'll get a whole lot more done. I can't get everything right, uh, but I care about people. And, and I care about Max, and I care about the people in Dimmock. And I, I will make, do, make uh, everything, uh, uh, in terms of this water situation, a top priority for my government, my state government, and my DEP secretary, and the new office, and the PENVEST. We're going to make this a top priority. There's so much money, as Max said. When you hear, we don't have the money to yeah. test your water well, that, that, yeah. He's, he's reacting right. I mean, it's an outrageous statement. He's got m better humor than I do. You know, I, I get, he, 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 I, he's, uh, he, he's, he, I get more hot about that kind of thing. Well, let uh, me ask you something. Sure. Is there any way you could, as the governor, if you do get to be governor, mm -hmm. 
to make the, the gas companies release the names of these chemicals. Yeah, People absolutely, know. absolutely. Uh, they have to. They ha you know, Very frankly, when I was DEP secretary, I ordered the, the information that we had about the names of the chemicals to be yeah. put up on the website. We wrote a rule that made that part of a rule. But we've got to constantly update those rules, and we've got to enforce them. Yeah. My, my my problem is we've got an agency that's not responding. You know, it, the, all the rules in the world don't do you any good if you've got an agency that's not responding to to you know, this is a human this is a basic issue of human decency mm -hmm. and we've got an agency not responding so we got an, we, you know we do I'll just end it with one political statement we need a new governor guys <laughs> and gals uh, and I very frankly uh, I, I can get this as right as human beings can make it I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect but I am uniquely qualified to get this right Thank you. All right. Thank you, Max. I, I'd just like to make a statement. I'm sure uh, that you would uh, agree. Uh, Frank Finnan has been delivering water uh, to yes, yeah, for, yeah. for over a year. I owe, I owe Frank a lot. And, and Frank is a great guy, and he's very humble, and he doesn't like to, to take thanks or praise, yeah. but he's, uh, he's been a great guy. I owe him a lot because he... He brought me water when nobody else would, you know. Yeah, Frank. Frank is a tremendous, tremendous person. And Sa Rebecca, there. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> We're thanking you for bringing water to him.